Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Handmade. I'm Allison, for those of you who don't know. And today I wanted to share with you my all-time favorite homemade brownie recipe. It only takes eight ingredients and about a half an hour or so in the oven to bake. And I'm telling you, these things are deadly. Um, I already have my oven preheating to 350. Right now it's a little bit chilly outside and I am trying to be a little bit more energy efficient and I'm not running my heater. And so what better way to warm up my house than to turn on my oven and not only warm things up a bit, but also get some awesome brownies out of it for me and, you know, Steve and Cody, if I don't finish them first. So all that being said, um, let's get started. So like I said, I've already heated my oven to 350, and the only other thing I did before I started filming was put one stick of butter in a pan on the stovetop to melt it down. Um, it's completely melted. I now turned off my stovetop and I'm letting it cool. Uh, and now it's time to just start throwing things in the mixer. So I'm gonna start off with one cup of sugar, one half cup of all-purpose flour, One third cup of cocoa powder. One quarter teaspoon of salt. One quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And then what I'd like to do is I just give it a quick little whiz around in my mixer just to kind of incorporate everything. Next thing I do is add two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. one half cup of melted butter. Um, I melted it down and then I've let it cool to room temperature. And the reason I've done that is because if hot butter hits those eggs, it might scramble them. And I don't want that because that would be nasty to have scrambled eggs in my brownies. I just turn it on, mix it until it's completely incorporated. Now that my batter's all done, I'm gonna grease an, I think this is an eight by eight inch ceramic pan, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Um, my grandmother taught me this years ago, and what you can do is you save your butter wrappers. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there is you know, a little bit of butter on here, and I can take this and rub down the inside of my dish, and I can grease my dish with that little bit of butter that would have been tossed anyways. All right, so my pan is greased. I'm just gonna toss this. And then the last step is I'm just going to take off my beater here. going to spread this around in my pan. Now I'm going to put these in the oven, let them bake at 350 for about 25 minutes. These brownies should be about done. So I'm just going to check my brownies to see if they're, oh my goodness, they are far from done, as you can see. So I'm going to put them back in the oven for another 10 minutes, and we will go from there. So I definitely made a 
medium size error when I when I told you all that it was going to take 25 minutes to bake these. I checked my notes and it actually takes 45 minutes. So I ended up putting a total of 20 minutes extra on top of the original bake time. And uh, now the brownies are done. So I've taken them out of the pan. They've cooled. I've um, placed them on a plate. I've actually decided instead of having them here for myself to bring them over to a girlfriend's house because, um, you know, why not share? That's the best part of baking, right? Is to be able to share it with people who you love. So um, here is the finished product. A little tray of brownies all on a plate. Uh, I'm just going to wrap them up and bring them over to my girlfriend's. So I hope you all enjoyed this today. I had fun hanging out and baking with you. Um, let me know if you try the recipe. If you do, tell me how it turns out. You can leave a comment below. And uh, let me know if you like content like this, if you want to see more baking stuff, because um, that's really what I enjoy doing. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good one. I can't wait to see you all next time. Take care.